EURUSD has recurred after dropping a lot here in June and then started to move forward up. And we can see that in the last two weeks, since the last analysis was made, the price has stopped here and it's moving sideways. We can see that this week the price has started uh, around this 1.08846 demand zone and from there try to reach 1.09860 supply zone but the price has just reached the, the start of this supply zone and then drop down again. The price after that during the week we can see on the Thursday the price has tried to make a breakout to the downside and we can see that this candle on a Thursday has made to make this breakout and the price has closed the candle the day below this one. But on a Friday we can see that the price has tried to reach lower levels, we can see it has reached 1.08346 and from there the price has back up, closing the day above 1.08846. This is also visible as a false breakout because after the after the price makes a breakout to the downside or the, on the or upside, or the price needs to confirm the next day also below that level to confirm the breakout. But this one we can see that it is a false one because the price is after making a breakout to the downside the price is back up. So this is for me a false breakout. So this is also information for the buys that they have still made to prevent the price from dropping down and we can see the price has tried this one also the previous week. Let's see on the weekly time frame how this looks. We can see that in the previous week the price has tried to make a breakout to the upside and we can see that the price has reached 1.09860 with this strong week. And also we have a confluence of resistance, we can see it here on the monthly time frame, that is preventing the price to make easy breakout to the upside. So this week the price has bounced between the price levels. We can see that the price has formed an indecision candle where the open price and close price are on the same level, almost. But it's very close. On a, on a weekly time frame this is uh, information that the price could not is, find its way to the up or to the down and it's staying a while for here, which means a strong fight between the bulls and bears. If we go to the monthly time frame and this month has ended, we, will, we can see how this looks. After the previous month has dropped significantly, the price has returned back up, recovered a lot and the price is above 1.07825. The price has tried to reach higher levels, we can see that the price tried to 1.09860 to make a breakout to the upside, but this strong supply zone, which is on a monthly time frame very strong, which we can see in the previous two months, the price has dropped significantly here, the price could not make a close above this confluence of resistance. So this is information for the future and also for the next month that the price will try to bounce between these two price levels. Will the price easily go above this 1.09860 supply zone? This will be visible on the weekly and also daily time frame. But now how, how it looks, it's very good for the buys because the price has recovered after significant drop and it has closed above 1.07825 and it has closed above 1.086 and also 1.083. These are two price levels for was critical for the monthly time frame and also for the weekly time frame I have mentioned in the previous analysis to stay above to be still bullish overview. So as it looks right now, I'm expecting that the price, because of it, price has reached this price level to make a bounce between these two price levels in the next month. After the price makes a breakout to the upside or the downside, we will see what will happen. Because we, after the breakout happens, we need to have a confirmation month to be valid breakout to the upside or to the downside. We can see in the past after this price has reached high levels and this month has closed above, the next one has dropped down. There is, no, uh, for, uh, there is no breakout to the upside confirmation. After this breakout has been done to the downside, we can see it here, there is no breakout confirmation with the next candle that should go down, but the price reverses back up. 
This means this area around here on a monthly time frame is very critical for the buyers and the sellers and this area here around 1.09860 and 1.07825 are very critical for the price. After the price makes a breakout and confirms this breakout, it will be a good signal to make a good trend trading. So the critical level for the monthly time frame is this one here. It is a 1.1 area here. And on the downside, for the first one is around this one here. This will be also visible on a weekly time frame. But on a monthly time frame, if the price goes down, this is the first one, 1.073, very critical level, and we will see what will happen on a weekly time frames. So for now, I'm still waiting on a monthly time frame to see where the breakout will happen in the next, in the following month. Will the breakout happen to the upside or to the downside? But if we take a look how this looks, it's very good uh, bullish. So I'm expecting that the price will try to reach higher levels and try to make a breakout to the upside. If we go to the weekly time frame, we will see what are the critical levels. We can see that this is the confluence I'm talking about on a monthly time frame around 1.09860. The critical level for the weekly time frame is this one here area. This is the first step. It will be visible also on the daily time frame. It is around 1.09493. This is the first step to be broken on a weekly time frame to allow the price to reach higher levels and that is the this one around 1.1 which is also uh, visible on a monthly time frame i have just mentioned so this is also a critical level for the bulls to make a breakout to the upside to allow the price to reach again higher levels on the downside how it looks the price is uh, still here and the first level where the price needs to make a breakout is this one here area it is around 1.086 and also down one around 1.83 price level we can see these are the lows of the wicks and also we can see this is the area here where the candle had problems between the bulls and bears and also here we can see the start of this supply zone currently acting as a demand zone. So the lower side of this demand zone where the buyers are still pushing the price to high levels, they are still fighting and defending this area. Because this week has ended as an indecision candle, I'm, I'm still cautious about the price and where it will go, but I'm still more inclined the price will go to the upside because of this bullish overview until the price makes a breakout to the downside and breaks this area here. I'm still here in decision and still waiting outside of the market and still waiting what will happen. But this looks very good to me that the buyers will try to find its way to push the price higher and reach higher levels. So the critical level on the weekly time frame is this one and also this one and this one here 1.1. It is also start here and it is also 1.09 and below it is 1.086 and 83. These are the critical levels for the weekly time frame and after the price makes a breakout from this decision area it will be much easier to see where the price will go in the future. If we go to the daily time frame we will see how this looks. Let's stretch this one a little bit like this. So the critical levels for the for the daily time frame we can see it is the one here it is 1.084 it is around and also 1.086.8483 here it is where the wicks are this is the area for the bulls which is visible also on a weekly time frame so we can see it is very critical that the price goes down on the daily time frame to see the price reaching lower levels and that is around 1.07825 this demand zone because the price has returned back inside this area, which is currently sideways market, I, I need to see the price making a breakout to the downside and confirming this breakout on the daily time frame or on the upside to be, to broke this area of confluence. We can see of resistance where the supply zone is. We can see this is the very big area here that is stretching from 1.094 to 1.1. It is very critical levels on a weekly time frame and also on a monthly time frame. 1.1 is very critical on monthly time frame, also on weekly, but on the weekly time frame is also 1.094. We can see this is the area also critical very for the daily time frame. So I'm expecting and I'm still waiting until the price makes a breakout from this indecision area. The first one that the price needs to break up to break is on the upside is 1.094. After that the price needs to go above 1.1 here to confirm 
the bullish momentum and to confirm a bullish breakout. So after the price makes a breakout to the upside, on a daily time frame makes a confirmation not returning back inside, it will be a great signal that the price has gone outside of this indecision area. On the downside is very critical, this area 1.086 and also 1.83. And until that happens, I'm still waiting. But as the market looks for me, it looks bullish, a little bit more bullish than bearish. So I'm expecting that the price will try to reach higher levels. So until the price makes a breakout, I'm still waiting and seeing what will happen in the future. That is all from today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading.